girls are in off-season training. This is off-season practice number 27, and we are doing a floor rotation. We got one, two, three, four, five, six of you today. Am I missing anybody? Mila. We're, oh, I, I mean, I'm missing anybody. Is nobody getting a drink or in the bathroom? No, we're good? Okay. Let's get started with line drills. We always start with a consistent warm-up so that when we get here, we can get moving and be efficient. What is our first line drill for level three? Yes, handstand, you said it, hold, forward roll. So they're going to try to count to three gymnastics while they're up in the handstand, and then candlestick, forward roll, stand up, and finish. Go ahead, ladies. We do mountain climber, ears covered, handstand, hold. Pushing, 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 fall to candlestick, roll out, stand up, and finish. Very good. We're going to push through maximum extension every single time that our hands hit the ground. Maximum extension means that our shoulders should be covering our ears. Good try, Madison. This is Madison's first day of level three. It's exciting. She just got her front hip circle, which was the last skill that she needed. Maximum extension means we're covered. Pull those things up there. Pushing, pushing. So we start with line drills. Our line drills are going to make sure that we hit all of our level three skills every single day. Then we're gonna work on detail work of one of our level three skills and then introducing one of our level four skills. That's the way that all of our compulsory um, off-season practices are structured on pretty much every event except for vault. All right, girls, Claire already knows. Arms out to the side, chins up, arms ready. Let's get that back leg nice and squeezing before we go. And go ahead, step, leap, step, leap, step, leap. Arms tight. I want you to snap those legs up in the leap. Snap the legs open in the leap. Very good. All right, girls, what's next? Handstand hold. Fall to bridge. Ooh, Claire is really holding over there. And kick over. Tight legs in the kick over. Let's keep the hips square, McKinley. What does hip square mean? Straight. Good. We don't want to open them too wide. So I've got McKinley likes to open her, like when she kicks over, she opens really wide, and so it, it's hard for her to stay square. Madison does the same thing as well. Eyes on the hands at all times. So if you have somebody that struggles with upper back flexibility, shoulder flexibility, Something that's gonna help them with that handstand fall to bridge is keeping their eyes in the right spot. And that would be on the, what? Yeah, you don't wanna get landed on, okay? Just stop at that line right there. We got our bar dismount right there, so we don't want them to get crushed by Anna. She's our level nine. Pushing. Good, Claire. Love where your eyes were. Good job. Good job. Good. So girls, let's make sure we're hitting that handstand and then holding it. Okay? It's in the word, handstand. That means you have to stand on your hands. You can't just flop a flop through it, right? That would be crazy. Are we going to have enough room? Um, what's the next thing? Backward roll. Coach Kalen's fine. Back of roll, three-quarter handstand, fall to push-up position. What am I going to be picky about, girls? Straight yeah. elbows. Straight elbows. If you did level two, that means you already had straight elbows for your back of roll to push-up position. So you girls need to hold yourself to that I standard. It was, roll to it was, but you did the old level two. New level two is back of roll to push-up position. McKinley, come try that again. I want you to push through your arms. Put pressure like you're trying to push the ground down. Push the ground down. It's going to help with those elbows. Okay, good try. Good try. We're focused the whole time on the quality of our gymnastics. Pushing through those elbows. You've got one wonky elbow, McKinley. Just one is being a little wonky. Pushing through. We don't want to let those elbows bend. This is going to affect our clear hips in the future. All right, girls, let me see. Round off. Round off.
I want a nice C shape on those rebounds. If it looks good, I'll let you do round up back handspring. Go ahead. Good, okay, Madison, Claire, Harper, you can do round off back handspring. Yes, don't crash into a mat, please. Ears covered, second hand turned in, good. That was better, Micah. Rebound tight, good, Harper, getting better. Start showing me consistency with these round offs and then you'll get to be able to do round off back handsprings. Very good. All right, girls, I want walks with shoulder rolls. Go ahead, yeah. So we're just trying to get them to get in the habit of presenting, of moving their body. Because sometimes those compulsory routines don't really offer them enough of an opportunity to do that. All right, and let's go. Step, 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 pose. Any pose you want. One, two, three, pose. One, two, three, post. One, two, three, post. One, two, three, post. One, two, three, post. Good. Come get in a box over here. Five split jumps and five half turns. Make sure you are finishing each skill that you do. Five split jumps and five half turns. Back legs should be straight. And the muscle that you squeeze to keep your back leg straight is what? Who knows? Your knees are not a muscle. What muscle is above your knee? Yo, oh, they said it. Quad. Point to your quad, everybody. Point to it. Oh, that's hamstring. This is hamstring. So if you squeeze your hamstring, that pulls like this. Right? So you, if you squeeze your hamstring, it goes. If you squeeze your quad, it goes this way. It's in the front of your leg. So you want to squeeze in the front of your leg. Okay. Good. Good, ladies. Nice. And five half turns. I want the arm path to be correct. Good. Very focused on it. Madison, let's go over that arm path real quick with me. So start in the lunge. Open the arm. Close as you turn. Open again. And then hug. Okay. Open. Yep. Close as you turn. That's right. You got it. You're doing it right. Open. Turn and arms close. Step. Hug. Wow. Leaning Tower of Harper. What's up? Let me see. You are very close to doing it right. When you finish the turn, we're here and then we open and hug. Arm open. Open. Hug. Beautiful. Very good. Very good, ladies. Okay, so we are done with our warm up. Guys, we're gonna be doing a circuit today that's gonna work on the round off, which is our level three skill that we're gonna be focused on today. And a circuit that's going to work on introducing that level four front tumbling path, which is the like fast front walkover cartwheel step together um, back extension roll, right? I so can do it. you can do it. So we're gonna be working on the front walkover, okay? All right, guys, um, let's get this circuit rolling. Will you girls stand? Where do you want them to stand, Kaylin? Behind the two walls. Behind the two walls over there. I think I'm going to bring this with us. I'm bringing, bringing the camera with us. All right, girls, we're going to do a, this is their cartwheel front to a deficit. So, Miss Harper, come on over. You're going to start on your knee. She's going to be my demonstrator for this. Arms covering your ears. Second hand turns in, cartwheel step together. Wow. Really good. I love that her ears are covered. That was beautiful. So that's going to be our first station over here. Now, moving over here. Power hurdle cartwheel. Show me that first. Yep, you're going to go that way. So start feet together. Long jump over. Very good. And if you are working on round offs, you want to do a lot of cartwheel step togethers. And then when those look good, then you do a round off. In case you did not know this just yet, round offs, the feet should come together right before they hit the ground. 
Okay, over here, next station. Yeah, it could still be you. Mountain climber, cartwheel, step together, fall to your C shape. This is gonna help them with their round out back handspring. Step together, fall to C shape. Okay, not hips up. Let your hips sink just a little bit more. Yeah, nice round, round shape, round shape. Kaylin, will you help her get into the correct shape for me? She's close. Feet a little closer to the wall, maybe. There we go. That's the shape we're looking for. Excellent. And that's going to help them with the round off back handspring. Then moving on, we're going to be working on some of our drills for our front tumbling pass in level four over here. Still, Harper's going to be my demonstrator. She's going to planche. So with this new tumbling pass, what they're looking for is for the shoulders to be leaned over the hands and then fast, fast, fast rotation through the heels. Okay, Harper, let's try that one more time and the focus is really important. The focus means where their eyes are looking. So Harper, can you show us that one more time? And I want your eyes to be on the ceiling when you step up. Or when you stand up. Eyes on ceiling, good, and then fall. Good job. And over here, planche to front walk over. This is going to be with me. Hands next to the star. Shoulders go all the way to the heart. And then try the walk over. That was a really good try. Again, the focus is super important, so that's eyes on the hands. Thank you so much, Harper, for demonstrating. Are you guys ready to get started with our circuit? Do you have any questions about it? Ladies, how do we stand? Do you have any questions about this circuit? No, no everybody understands? Okay, you can go ahead and get started. Good, step together, bring the second foot in. I'm gonna make sure that everybody can see my station over here. Good, it's a power hurdle. I want a lot of power, right? Claire, come back and try that one more time. So power hurdle over the red lava mat. Power, power, power. Yeah, there we go, that looks pretty good. So my station over here is focused on the um, front walkover form that they're looking for, for front tumbling. So what they are looking for now is really fast heel drive, kind of like a wheel rolling down a hill. So they want the shoulders leaning over like a planche. Focus is towards the hands and the heels drive really fast. So what I've got is I've got a star, a little arrow, and then a heart. So we're gonna put our, both hands on the side of the star. You can put them down, go ahead, put them down. Oh, where are you going? We're doing a front walk over. Why are your hands all wonky? Like this. There we go, okay. Now ears should be covered. Leaning shoulders all the way to the heart. Shoulders to the heart and kick hard. Okay, so as soon as you did your kick, you pulled your shoulders back in line with the star. I want you to kick and keep leaning so that you have to kick even faster. Let's try one more time and then you can go back to the beginning of the circuit. Ears are covered. Lean shoulders over the heart, kick. Good focus, she's looking at the ceiling now, it was excellent. Great, awesome Micah. Okay, so we're gonna put our hands down right away and just don't even worry about the legs just yet. You can bend them, bend your legs. Okay, good, so ears should be covered. This is Madison's first in level three, so we're gonna take our time here. Lean the shoulders all the way to the heart. So really leaning over, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, keep the, I know it feels uncomfortable, but that's the point. It should feel like you're gonna fall, okay? Lean over, but I got you. Now kick hard. Kick. Look at the ceiling. Beautiful. That rotated really fast, and that's exactly what we're looking for. You can go back to the start of the circuit. Hi, McKinley. You're going to put your hands down next to the star, and then you're going to lean your shoulders all the way over the heart, 
and you're going to kick so fast. Remember we do that drill? Yeah. Okay. Hands down next to the star. Now, when I say to kick, you're going to kick, but let's cover the ears. Lean the shoulders all the way to the heart and kick hard. Look at the ceiling. Not bad. I want you to open up those armpits. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah. Oh, you do know. Very good. Excellent. Start the circuit again. Now, Claire's got pretty tight shoulders, so this is something that she struggles with. She makes up for a lot of her tightness by being a super powerhouse. <laughs> but one of the things that we tell her is to re re relax. She needs to breathe out and relax when she's doing this. Okay, hands next to the star. Ears covered, lean the shoulders over, and relax your back, and then kick hard. Relax. That's not bad, my girl. Oh, ow. Ooh. Oh, hang on. I wasn't ready for you. I wasn't ready. Hands next to the star. Okay, ears covered, lean the shoulders, lean, lean. We have to kick hard, hun. Kick hard. Look at the ceiling. Excellent. Let's keep those armpits open when we do that. So again, we're introducing the level four tumbling pass, right? Yeah. Harper, are you being shy today? Is it the camera? Maybe. I think you guys make Harper shy. Ears covered. Lean your shoulders over and kick hard. Boom, boom, boom. Love your focus. Love your focus. Focus again means where your eyes are looking and having them on your hands and at the ceiling is exactly where I want them. Front tumbling is always blind tumbling, so that means you shouldn't be able to see your feet land. Lean over, lean over, lean over. Kick hard. Boom. Woo. Okay, so Micah is pretty, is Archie Mama. That's exactly what she is. Can you do a bridge for them this way? Just a bridge. Nope. This way. Go ahead, bridge. Okay, do you see how Micah's, I'm going to turn you a little bit more this way. Do you see how Micah bends um, different parts of her back not evenly? Can you get your ears covered? And then I want you to make sure that you're not only using your lower back for this bridge. I want you to use your whole back to open. Right. Oop, now you're just using the lower back again. We want an equal distribution of bend throughout her whole back. That's better. So that's something that she needs to work on a lot. Good job, Micah. So if you have a kid that has a super flexible back, that's awesome, but make sure that they're using their whole back and not just one portion of their back. So you want to split up the bend throughout their whole back, like this kid too. Madison's also got a flexible back. Hey, Vivian. Vivian, come here. Come here real quick. Come here. You want to say hi to the camera? Come here. Come here. This is a camera right there. Vivian, can you wave at them? This is a future superstar right here. All right, you can head back. <laughs> okay, hands on the side of the star. Cover the ears. Lean your shoulders over the heart. And, oh, come on, girl, lean. Give me some lean and kick hard. Kick. Nice. Love it. High five. You rock. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. You already got your foot up. You are just way ahead of me over here. Cover the ears. Shoulders go over. Lean over hard and then kick. Girls, these are so, so, so much better. Guys, when we first started this, we were not ready for a live video. <laughs> well, the first day we started these girls, remember? We were just flopping all over the place. Maybe we should have done that so you could see. But it's important that you stay with it, right? And you never give up. Never give up, right? Yeah, do the same thing with coaching. If you guys are getting frustrated with progress that your kids are making, pick something you know works from coaches that you know have kick, 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 kick had success with it which is what we do and then um stick with it yeah oh it, she's showing you what they used to do that's exactly right oh claire try that one again that was that was rough ears covered leaning over leaning over kick good job yeah this is big 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 progress from what we started with what's up Something funky is happening. I think you're jumping onto both hands at the same time. Can you show me with the round off? We're gonna watch McKinley over here. She's jumping over and doing the power hurdle round off. Um, but I think, I think you're jumping onto both hands. Can you do one hand, other hand? Try again. There, that was better. And then McKinley, come here real quick. When you do a round off, should your feet come together where? In the middle or right before you hit the ground? 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right before you hit the ground. So if you girls didn't know that, take a second to think about that before you start this. So McKinley, let's try it again and really think about that. What does that mean? Feet come together right before you hit the ground, not in the middle of it. You land the feet together, but if we put them together in the middle, we're just going to kill all of our power. I want those feet moving. It should catch up right at the last second. Okay? Ears covered. Lean. Go. Yeah, girl. So if this is helpful to you guys to watch our practices live, um, then go ahead and subscribe to our channel and give us a like. Oh, Micah, again, you crazy squirrely back girl. Come this way, let's do the bridge again. Bridge. Yeah, okay, she's got like contortionist back. Now eyes on hands. Okay, that's a better distribution. Now, yep, she's a squirrely back girl. Hands down, leaning shoulders over. You got it. Kick hard. Oh, why'd you pull your, why'd you come back? No, we're, we're not, it's not like, um, we're not going to rock into it. We're just going to lean and kick. So no rocking. We're just going to lean and then kick. So kind of as soon as you kick, she's pulling her shoulders back. You're pulling shoulders right back to the star. We want to keep the shoulders over the heart. That's going to speed up our rotation, okay? All right, switch up. Micah, what in the world was that? You just did like a front walk over cartwheel hybrid. Try that again. Power hurdle. Ooh, better, Micah girl. Hey, girls, let's uh, turn this station now into power hurdle round off. Not power hurdle cartwheel step together, okay? Power hurdle round off rebound. Yeah, let's uh, take a look at that hurdle. Come here, Madison. When you do the hurdle, I want both knees to be in front of your body, okay? You did this. You put this leg back behind and then dragged it up here. So the leg that's going to push back is going to be your non-dominant leg. So you're a righty, correct? So you're going to push and then both knees are going to come in front of your body. You kind of are dangling one leg behind you. That was a little better. Good. Good, good. Hi. Ready? Oh, man, hang on. Microphone's trying to fall off. Oh, oh, don't do it yet. Okay, ready. Where are your ears? Where, where are your ears? Yes, lean, lean. Why are you rocking? Rocks and treetops all day long. Why are you rocking your shoulders like that? All right, let's try it again. I want you to just lean your shoulders straight over the heart and then kick from there. You don't have to like come back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, okay? Shoulders go to the heart. Where are your ears? Oh my, those things are showing. Get the shoulders. You can bend your knees, bend your knees. Then both knees. Both knees. Whoa. All right. All right. We got to set that up correctly if we want it to be done correctly, right? Set it up correctly. Lean your shoulders over. Kick hard. Looking, looking. Good. You fixed your head in the middle, but it started out trying to get that chin. So you don't want to let, hey, don't kick me. You don't want to let, can you do a bridge and then just stand up like a limber? So you don't want to let them try to put your chin on your chest. You don't want to let them try to stand up like this. See? So we want to leave the head back and now stand up. See? Oh, oh, oh did you see the shoulders pull forwards? You just put those hands in front of you. Relax. Try that again. Try that again. Okay. Ready? Ready? Relax. Relax. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. Good job. Yeah. Of course. Yes. Hey, Kaylin. She's going to steal our fluffy because I think she's flipping a vault. All right. Head on over. Good job. Hang on, girl. All right. Hey, girls, what I would like to do for these last three minutes, I just want to have you girls sit on the purple line, and we're going to do a little bit of show-off time. I want you girls to watch each other do this um, drill so that you can learn from watching each other, okay? Everybody. So everybody's going to sit right there. What? All of them? All of them? No, just this drill. Not every drill. I'm going to pull this camera over here, though, so that they can see perfect. Hey, guys. 
I'm gonna put this right here. Beep, 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 beep. All right, just make sure your head's not in the camera, ladies. So if you're in the camera, scooch over to the side. All right, who wants to show off first? Cora does. Girls, what are the things that I'm looking for? Let's think about it real quick. Look at the ceiling when you come up. Look at the ceiling when you come up. Look at your hands. What's another thing I'm looking straight for? Legs and toes. Always straight legs and pointed toes. Yeah. Kick fast. That's the one. That's it. Where should your shoulders be? By your ears. Your shoulders should be by your ears. Yes, but should they be behind your body, in line with your wrists, or in front of your wrists? In front. In front. Ooh, they should be leaning, right? All right. So let's have her lean. No rocking and rolling. Lean. Kick fast. Look at it. Good. That was really good. Great job. Who wants to show off next? Madison? Okay. Hands on the side of the star. Okay. Ears covered. Leaning. Kick fast. Looking. Pretty good. McKinley. And then Clary. And then me. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, there we go. Okay, but you can lean. You can, okay, I think your feet are too far away. Let's, let's reset. Stand back up. Reset. So if your feet are that far away, it's going to be really hard to lean. So I want you to bring your feet pretty close, okay? Both feet. Bend your knees. Now ears covered. Lean. Kick. Eyes. Excellent. Good. So lean, kick. Remind them where their eyes go. Kinley, you sat on Claire. <laughs> What the heck? I'm All right. trying to move and then she and then I'm Yeah, that was real crazy. Cover your ears. Lean. Kick. Shoom. Oh, good relaxing. She was like, Ugh. her spine turned to mush in the middle. Harpy? Are you ready? Harpy girl. It's time to show off. Oh, the little hair flick too. The confidence. The confidence looks good on you. Lean over. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You weren't all the way leaned. What's going to happen? It's just going to slow it down. The shoulders are going to come back and it's going to slow you down. We want you to speed up. McKinley, girl, your feet in the camera. Kick. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. So she tried to pull up using the double chin method. Okay, what is the double chin method? Or push her chin down like that. Yeah, we don't want to do that to stand up. So let's relax. Let's try that one more time, Harpy. I know that you can do it. Ready? Let's relax our head position. Lean. Lean. Kick. Relax your head position. Much better. Much better. Micah girl, have you shown off yet? You did show off, right? Hands down beside the star. Lean the shoulders. Don't rock back and forth. Lean them farther. Farther. Kick. Okay. All right. You got to use every part of your back, not just not just one, but we're going to keep working on that. Girls, go ahead and say bye-bye to everybody. Bye. Say thank you so much for watching our floor practice. And yeah, and give us a like. And if you found this helpful, then subscribe to our channel. If you've got other things that you want to see, comment down below and let us know. And uh, we'll try to get that done for you. Bye.